Hey y'all, just want to do another pepper test review for Ink Gardener. This will be test pod number two. Test pod number two. I was going to do it live, but it's been a busy night with everybody else going live and neighbors blasting the music. The next two pods I'll do on a I'll do them separately, but I'll do them live, and uh, that way Tammy can join and ask questions and everything. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do this taped. Now this is more likely a super hot cross, you know, caps, capsicum chinets cross, and Gardner's known for the crosses, and this is what I'm calling test pod number two. Here we go, y'all. Real floral. It has a the capsicum chinense flavor, you know, the real pu putrid type. Capsicum chinense flavor of super hot. It's, it's a little slightly bitter, slightly floral. Not real floral, not like Aquanet hairspray in the 80s when you walk in your girlfriend's room. and uh, Not that kind of floral, but it's a slight floral with the bitterness. Uh, more likely because of the seeds, eating the placenta and the seeds. It gives you that bitterness. Uh, it gives you that now that's where all the heat is, is in the placenta, of course, all those chili heads know that. <sighs> that's a good burn on it. Right off the bat, I'll say I'm at a three. It's got a good mouth burn. All in the front of the mouth. Uh, it's not attacking my throat. Of course, I took a bite of it, so I didn't inhale all them gases inside that pepper and get the hiccups. But uh, it has great flavor. At first, it was kind of bitter took me by surprise and then once you get past the, the bitterness and the floral then you kind of get a little citrus in the back end on the back end of that but the heat is a good heat it's got a, a simmering burn it's kind of get my hands in there my friend Vince always gets a kick out of that <clears throat> he's up in Pittsburgh and I always do the bang bang he makes fun of me. Anyways, uh, it's a real great flavor uh, on the back end. At first, it kind of takes you by surprise, but it's a super hot, is what I assume. I do not know what this pepper is. I just know, know it's a cross for Mint Gardener, and they sent it for me to test. And uh, she was really wanting to do it live so she could ask me questions while I'm burning. And uh, I'm hoping I cover everything that she needs to know. The heat has good legs. It has a good sustain. My mouth is still burning just as just as, as it was. To me, I want I want to say the burn on my mouth is is a like as if I had a mouthful of Tabasco peppers. It's a stinging type burn. Uh, it's not real strong on the gut, swallowing it. Uh, I just didn't want to take any chances of doing multiples because, uh, you know, I've got a sensitive gut. I've had 13 surgeries, and with those 13 surgeries, my iron gut that I used to have when I was young is gone. <laughs> I know I don't need a... After doing the chug, and after doing those... Uh, 
Carolina Reaper balls that y'all hadn't seen a video of. I still got some left. I may, I don't know. If I ever hit a thousand, maybe I'll finish the bag. A thousand subs, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put my gut through it. What I went through that last time. But anyways, that ain't about this. But anyways, I'm just saying, after 13 surgeries, I just can't push my gut and go through them rough nights. I love to burn with anybody. I love to burn. It's, you know, but uh, I know my limits, y'all. So I like to do these reviews and do them one each, give each pepper the full attention. And right now, my the mouth burn is simmering down. Uh, it's still all around my gum area, the bottom, the edges of my tongue. But uh, it's a real great flavor of a pepper. I, I think it'd be great in, in any kind of like products and sauces. Uh, to me, it was a tad bit hotter than, than uh, the hottest habanero to me, which is like the uh, Caribbean red or a Primero red. Those are the two that I think are the two hottest habaneros that I've had. Besides my favorite cross, the Tangerine TS, I'll, I'll bring it up. I don't know. That pepper is just so, so good. But this pepper here, with the tiger stripe blushing on it, a very beautiful pepper. This is awesome. I don't know what it's crossed with. I don't know if it is a super hot. I don't know if it is a hob cross or I don't know. It has a stinging capability. I mean, it has stinging in my lips. Like it has some kind of, some kind of hob in there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm two and a half years into this. Well, two years into it. And uh, I'm no expert, y'all. I'm learning along with y'all. I'm a I'm beginning chili head, be beginner. So bear with me. And uh, sorry about the hiccups last time. I'm trying to get better at this and take a bite out first and then take another bite. The gas is in a pepper that just gives me hiccups. You know, if it's a real good gaseous pepper, I might have been sitting out on the counter for a little bit. I don't know. Excuses, Rob. I'm just trying to have fun with this, y'all. And I'm having fun. And that was a great pepper from Ink Gardeners. This was a winter pod from last winter. And uh, they were nice enough, Tammy and Mike were nice enough to send this to me for me to do this uh, review. And I, I wanted to do it live for her. She's having headaches right now. So, you know, I figured I'd just go ahead and do this as a taped. And, uh, it's a Friday night, and I'm surprised the neighbors ain't blaring the music. They were earlier, just about four, 45 minutes ago. I charged my phone, got on here, and I wanted to do this quick burn. Try to give you all the info y'all need on this for Tammy, for this test run on this pepper. The unknown, test pod number two. Number two, y'all, is a great pepper. My burn has subsided. It had pretty good legs. If it is any type of a habanero type, the stinging qualities reminded me of a habanero Tabasco type. You know that stinging. So, but the heat was right up there. Like it has to be up there close to getting up there close to the million mark. You know, probably the highest, highest it could be as a habanero or something like that i don't know but it was fun reviewing it for y'all i hope y'all having a good night i wish i could have done this live i will be doing lives i'm not scared to do them i just timing is just it was a crazy night tonight everybody was doing something all the different testers and you know plus i'm trying to squeeze in dinner you know cooking dinner doing the di you know all my things all uh, what i handle here at the house Life gets in the way sometimes, y'all know, you know. But uh, that was another great pod from Ink Gardener. That was a peach colored with a, a almost like a purple blushing on it, like a tiger striping purple blushing on it. You can check out the picture in the thumbnail. I'll, I'll put it on here with it, and I'll, I'll put a link down there with Ink Gardener. You can, I think, maybe get on a list for some pod boxes this season. They're going to have plenty of peppers for everybody. So y'all definitely need to check them out on the Etsy site. 
and get y'all some of them pods. But uh, I'll say right now, the burn is at the very tip of my tongue. Now, anybody that eats peppers and eats anything that's close to a super hot or a super hot, you know, you get that little right there on the tip of your tongue. Let you know you're alive. No, it lets you know that you hate a pepper. That's for damn sure. But I uh, appreciate y'all checking out this video and hanging with me for this little burn. Look at that. I stayed long enough for one tear. One tear to come down here. So that doing you know, pass the tear test, Tammy. It's a great pepper, y'all. Y'all need to check in, look into Ink Gardener. If y'all don't know who they are, y'all definitely hear about them very soon. And, but y'all need to go ahead and go to the Etsy site and look into them right now. And get you some of them pods and all them fabulous products. They have plenty of products. And uh, a little seed right there. Make sure I got it swallowed. Y'all have a good night. Appreciate y'all doing this little barn with me for a test review for Ink Gardener on test pod number two. Y'all have a good night and catch y'all on the next one.